If you guys have an H Mart or a Korean market near you, um, try and see if you can find these. Yes, I would like to point out that I have a huge pimple. It's saying hello, so just say hello. And it's a beautiful day. Oh, and I also wax my armpits. Good morning. I've actually been awake since three in the morning. It is now 8.30. Happy Friday. You probably are not gonna see this on a Friday, but it's Friday for me, so happy Friday. <laughs> I'm gonna head to work. I slept on a street, a random street. Let me show you. I'm not gonna show you everything, but I'll give you a little peek. Boop, that's your peek. <laughs> I actually picked up trash yesterday on the side because some people, you know, they litter. Don't litter, okay? <laughs> I went outside of my RV last night to turn off my gas because I use propane for my stove. I was turning off my propane tank and I saw a row of trash and I was like, let me pick this up. If you're doing van life, RV life, whatever, even if the trash is not yours, please pick it up. Because if you walk away from that place, well, first of all, we shouldn't litter and we should clean the earth. <laughs> but like, we shouldn't litter in the first place. Even though the trash is not yours, if you park there and then you leave and you leave someone else's trash where you parked, it's gonna look like it was you. And I really don't wanna keep perpetuating a stigma of like, trashy RV and van life so let's get it together okay these are probably people in a car it was probably just people littering but it doesn't matter because if you park there in an RV or van and leave with trash it has a worse stigma or whatever <laughs> than a car sadly Have this eyeliner that I've been using. I thought this eyeliner when I bought it was black because I like the NYX black pencil eyeliner. That's what I've been using for years. Like since I started wearing eyeliner, I've been wearing a black NYX eyeliner. But when I bought this one, I thought it was black, but it's actually called Gunmetal Gaze. And it's like a black with a lot of silver speckles it almost looks like a blackish gray like a charcoal um i actually kind of like it <laughs> but it's great to like try something new because i was never going to try anything new if i hadn't bought this on accident i've also switched out my makeup brush for my makeup those two items are the things that have changed throughout the years and it just changed this year i switched to this sonia kashuk brush that i got at target came with a case for like a cover for the brush i have this makeup bag and this is what i use i also got this at target it came with like little travel toiletry stuff but i don't really care about that stuff i really wanted the bag the funny thing is the bag was made in vietnam <laughs> and i love this kind of texture it's so nice so yeah, I got this at Target in the travel section of the like toiletry section. I really like this Sonia Kashuk brush. I was hesitant to buy this brush because it was long, but I really thought it was time for a new brush. It's really nice. Let me show you. It opens like this and it's so soft. Oh, <sighs> I just want to lay in it. <laughs> I'm not like a huge makeup person. I use like, five items for my makeup so you guys will be able to see that in my makeup 
routine video that I filmed when I was in New York. That was some years ago, so. <laughs> but it's the same thing. My powder lasts me a long time because I don't use a lot of makeup. And I don't wear makeup every single day. Um, I don't know why I'm putting it on the bottom half of my face because I'm gonna be wearing a mask, but whatever. Speaking of wearing a mask, I am working at a public high school. We have to be vaccinated in order to continue working. We've submitted our COVID vaccination record and we still have to wear masks. So everyone's still required to wear masks indoors. Outdoors at lunchtime, they're allowed to take their mask off, obviously when they're eating, but also just out and about, they can take their masks off as long as they're vaccinated. So that's pretty much the situation at our school at the moment. I just thought I'd update you guys in case you're wondering what um, California's public schools are doing. I work at a high school and we're still wearing masks. Teachers must be vaccinated and submit proof of their vaccination record. So that's what's going on here. What if anyone is working in a school, public school, private school, whatever, in whatever state, comment below. Let me know what your school and uh, state is doing. It's so weird because each state is like another country. <laughs> All the rules are so different. Um, I don't really like this color for my lips, but I just keep using it because I'm almost out of all my lipsticks, so I need to go lipstick shopping soon. But I still use lipstick for blush. And I've been doing this for years. Since I was in Korea, probably the first time I was in Korea, I just started doing this because Korea only has really light pink blush and I like more of a red blush um, or maybe like towards the purple side but their blush was just always too light so I just started using lipstick <laughs> and I just haven't stopped I put way too much on this side oh my gosh and yes I put lipstick on my chin I really should set up my tripod because you guys are at like a really weird angle. Remember that little piece of the refrigerator wallpaper was sticking out in every video that was angled over here? Oh, I should just film. Why am I over there? This is a better angle. <laughs> um, remember my wallpaper would always be flopped over? Well, I fixed that a while ago and I don't know. I don't think anyone noticed. <laughs> but uh, I'm just letting you guys know. I've done that. I fixed that. It wasn't anything special and I don't know why I procrastinated for so long, but we tend to do that, don't we? Like we procrastinate for something that'll take two seconds. So fixed my little wallpaper on my fridge and I'm really happy about that. I was just filming and talking and talking and then my camera turned off and I was like, I know I don't have a low battery. It was because I didn't press record. So I talked to myself for a while and it was nice, kind of therapeutic. Um, I was just trying to express that I made this bracelet at my work with the students and we got to make like bracelets some people wrote their name some put other things but we had like a little mental health week and I have all my colors there I did mine in Vietnamese it says patience in Vietnamese so yeah super cute anyway I'm ready for the day <sighs> I'm trying to think if I have time to go to Walmart I'm gonna try and go to Walmart really quickly I am so glad I thrifted these curtains in Oregon because they really, I know they're funky and vintage, like super vintage, but they just go with my RV so well. Like I barely had to do any changes to them. You guys are actually sitting on a green pumpkin I got. I know that sounds really random, but tis the season. <laughs> it's my favorite time of the year, fall. Yeah, so right now you guys are sitting on my pumpkin. <laughs> Never thought I would say that sentence before. Always at the back of the parking lot. Stop calling me. Automotive, you have a call holding on line three. Automotive line three. 
the rule of candles is if you can smell it through your mask and it smells good, it's strong and it's a good candle. <laughs> That person just came to ask if I wanted to sell my RV. It's kind of crazy because he probably came and saw my RV and waited for me to come out the store. So <laughs> that's kind of scary. Um, but yeah, he just pulled up right when I walked up, which was kind of scary. I was like, <laughs> oh, my phone. He was like, hey, do you want to sell your RV? And I was like, no, I don't, thank you. And he was like, it's a good one. And I was like, I know, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> anyway, I'm off to work. Yeah, I think he was adding like a tiny, yeah, I think he was adding like a tiny coil right there. We'll make it look like match them up a little bit better. But uh, yeah, and then, okay, here's some still, we got some moisture. Look at the Westie. I literally just bought this wine for the bottle. <laughs> I love this moon situation going on. Look at all the RVs. I use the cup of noodle boxes that you can get at the store um, <laughs> to organize my things. I just heard the first gust of wind blowing some dried leaves on the ground and it was so beautiful. Ah, fall is here. <laughs> this is my favorite season. I went to H Mart and I haven't been in forever um, but it was like heaven it makes me really miss Asia so I want to show you three of the things that I got and they make me so excited and it brings back so much nostalgia for Korea specifically so I bought two of these yubu chobaps and <laughs> yubu chobap is a it's like it's kind of like tofu pockets. It's a bean curd pocket um, that you fill with rice. But first, before you put the rice in, you put a type of mixture. It comes with like a packet of seaweed and vegetable mix and some sesame oil. So you mix that with the rice and then you stuff it in these tofu. It's not tofu, it's bean curd, but it's like tofu. <laughs> these pockets, they are so good. It probably doesn't sound good, but trust me, it's so good. This yubu chobap was $5.50. I bought two of them. If you guys have an H Mart or a Korean market near you, um, try and see if you can find these. They're called yubu chobap. Okay, the next thing that I bought, seaweed. I bought this seaweed. It's just like the little mini packets of seaweed. This seaweed was $3.50. I tried to look for the cheapest one. They had a couple that were different. I never tried this one before. It's cooked with and seasoned with avocado oil but they had a couple different ones that were seasoned with different types of oils but i chose the avocado oil one i've never tried it before but yes 350 i like to eat these with rice and everything kimchi you can pretty much eat it it's like it's delicious <laughs> then i got some bunga pong actually i don't know if they call these bunga pong I think they're called Bunga Pong. It doesn't say it on, it says the brand. Okay, anyway, 
I got this ice cream. This is one of my favorite ice creams. I like Melona ice cream and I like this ice cream. Um, I have a couple of favorites, but I'd definitely say probably Melona and this one are my favorites. So um, I got this. It was a pack of four and it's like a dollar each ice cream. So that's pretty good. It was $3.99 for a pack of four. So all right you guys i'm going to say goodbye if you guys want a video of like some foods i miss from asia I, I might mix it up and do a mix of korea and vietnam i've been to thailand too so there are some foods that i miss in thailand too i've just traveled through thailand but um there are a lot of foods that i miss from asia so comment below and like the video if you would like to see a foods i miss from asia video i think it would be fun i wouldn't just talk about them i probably would buy them and show them and probably eat them probably not in one day because that's kind of much but let me know if you would like to see a video like that thank you guys so much for watching make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and check the links in the description box if you would like to support my channel a special thanks to my patrons i really appreciate you guys for supporting my channel and if you would like to become a patron on patreon you can check the link in the description box thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye My brother bought me a Beyond Meat burger from Carl's Jr. These are one of my favorite burgers to eat, so yum. <laughs>